Hey there again, YouTube. And um, just letting you know, this is not a Sarah's Corner episode on its own. Um, I can't really make this a whole episode because it's not technically, you know, something. So, I'm just saying that this is just basically an extension to Sarah's Corner episode number 30 that I made about four hours ago. So, as I showed you before, I actually got my R4 working. So, as if you didn't watch the previous video, watch it. And then enjoy this video. Well, as you know, you buy, depending on what kind of DS you have, I have a DSi XL. You can see, it's just the case on it. Um, they have different ones. Okay, I bought uh, the R4 3D. It's brand new. See, as you can see this. And if you look closer, I don't know if you can see that. But it's for the 3DS, DSi, DSL, well, DS Lite, and uh, the regular DS. So you could use this one basically on any system. So that's very good. Well, so far. So, it looks like a DS cartridge and fits in perfectly. Well, um, you can get one of these. Just search it on Google. You can't buy it at any store, so you had to buy it off the internet. <clears throat> so to search it up on Google, you'll find it. You buy a um a uh you're gonna buy a micro sd card such as this one shown okay it doesn't matter i just have a get one get a one gig and then as you can see on the on the r4 you have a little slot okay you put the um micro sd in the slot okay okay and, um so that's what it does so it'll come with well let me get it okay No matter what kind of, where you buy it from, what kind you buy, you will always get some kind of adapter for a micro SD card, even though if it doesn't come with one. Um, mine looks like this. Okay, this hooks up into the USB port of your computer, and then right here, this little slot, you put, you just put the micro SD card in, and it goes in. Okay, well, once you have that connect, it might also look like a SD card. It's located the um down for the um SD adapter right beneath the keyboard of your uh laptop. If you don't have a laptop, I don't know where it is. Um, well, you put this in your computer, and then you put the micro SD in it, and then what you do, you had to download. Uh, it depends. I can't really tell you because it depends on what kind of uh, R4 you have. But you download different kernels in different firmware. Okay, you need a kernel or a firmware. They're basically the same thing. And you download. You 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 uh basically download it and then drag and drop everything in the folder. But don't actually drop the folder. Then you make a new folder, name it games, and you uh, look up like random sites such as ROM Freak. And type in like ISO downloads and you download them and put just like extract them and put them into the folder. Okay, once that's done, I will show you a little thing. Then once that's done, you just take your micro SD out of your computer, put it in your R4. Okay, then you put the R4 in your DS or DS, whatever kind of DS you have. And as you can see, it's really cool. Watch. Let me turn the volume up. Okay. Right. As you can see, it says SpongeBob's Atlantis Square Pantis. It'll say, it might not say this for you, it might say like some other random game. Okay, but it says this for me. But as you know, it just tricks the DS into thinking that it's that game. Watch, if you click on it, it is not. It says loading, and then look. R4i. It might say it differently. And then look, it has like a little DSi menu, basically. It looks like a DSi. So you can put on, you can put on games, audio, video. And you have a notepad, pictures, file browser, etc. You want to select the games. So actually go on the games. And watch. Come on. And look, you can even change your theme. You can pick a theme. This is the Zelda theme, which is green. You can also download new ones, but I like this one. 
and they had the games you downloaded onto the micro SD card. So here are the games. I, I only downloaded two. I have Jump Ultimate Stars and Pokemon White version. Okay. Um, Jolt Jump Ultimate Stars is a game that's only available in Japan. It is. They don't have it for any other country, but you can also download it. And it's, um, my friend, I partly translated it. If you watch, they're all full-working games. I'll show you the Japanese ones. Why the R4 loads it. See, it doesn't say on the bottom. The Japanese are. Part of it's translated, but look, as you can see, it says in Japanese right there. Press start. So, they're fully working games. They are not demos. See, it's in Japanese. Okay, if you want to go back, I will even show you Pokemon White. Just letting you know, it doesn't work on these table games only. It works on any game, any DS game they have. Everyone. So select games. One. They also have Pokemon White version, I said. This is what these are only the games I downloaded. Wait, hold on. Go back. Alright. They're fully working. Just wait for them to load. They're fully working. They even use Wi Fi. It's basically all the features, but for free. It's a very good deal. My R4 cost me about, it cost me exactly $18 and $2 for shipping, so it was $20. And it only took four days to ship. Amazing. See, so Pokemon went. Well, I just got my R4 today, so I didn't make an account, but it says new game. See? So, So, I hope this ha um, helped you guys out. I suggest if you're a DS gamer, most games are at least about $30. At least the new ones when they come out. And you can even get, if, if you have, are like me, and you have a, DS, a DSi, three, um, DSi XL or a 3DS, you might be sad you can't play any of your Game Boy Advance classics. But you could also download those on here too. Amazing, it's R4. You really should get one if you're a handheld gamer or a gamer at all okay this cost me as I said $18 only is not unbelievable plus two dollars for shipping only four days well from the website I did they might have different ones but that one's mine so it was pretty cool I was so happy that I figured out how to use it and most of the DS games as I said when they come out they're about $35 like Pokemon White $35 I for 20 I got it for free plus Whatever other games I want. Some games um, take up more space than others, so eventually you might have to get another micro SD. And you probably had to put firmware on that too, sadly. So, well, just thank you for watching. Uh, just please keep tuning in my videos and just keep watching. Thank you. Goodbye.